there I was one day late this summer, lying in the grass, staring at the clouds, pondering deep issues like the direction of my life and the national debate over health care reform, when I saw something strange up in the sky. It was a blimp, not just any blimp, but the Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey blimp. That's weird, I thought to myself. A healthcare company with a blimp? I mean, isn't the purpose of a healthcare company to provide people with health care and keep them from getting sick? How does a blimp help with that? Do doctors use the blimp to deliver care to some hard-to-reach place, I wondered? Were they tossing wheatgrass supplements and gym membership cards to the obese masses below? No. Turns out the blimp is just a big floating ad. Well, we, everybody does marketing. Every company does marketing. And that's one way that we can do it. It's unique and it saves us money because what we spend on the blimp for the entire month is what we would pay for about two weeks of television advertising. So it saves money and it's a unique way for us to get our message out there. Saves them money, but it still costs them a million and a half dollars to fly the thing every summer. Now supporters of health care reform bills in Congress say this is one of the biggest problems with our current system. Companies are spending more and more on things besides caring for patients. While the number of people with no insurance and healthcare company profits go up, up, and away. Now, Horizon officials say the blimp, which even has its own Facebook page, is hugely popular and they've hardly gotten any complaints from customers. But at least a few that I spoke with say they wish the company would spend the money it costs to fly the blimp paying for their healthcare. Like this guy, Daniel Hewitt. He had to fight for a year to get Horizon to pay for treatment he received after being bitten by a tick and getting symptoms associated with Lyme disease. The company argued that he had been bitten by the tick before his policy took effect and denied him coverage based upon a pre-existing condition. Only after he filed a complaint with the state did Horizon pay his bill. In, in this time of recession, I think it's appalling that so much money is going on in advertising when there are people who are having to cut back on medicine, on prescriptions, put off uh, doctor visits. It's, it's really absurd. Horizon did not want to pay my claim and they kept me running, they kept me waiting for well over a year uh, before they agreed to pay and the only reason they agreed to pay is because I had to contact the uh, State Department of Banking and Insurance to get someone to look at my situation. So would a government run program, the public option or anything else in any of the bills murking their way through Congress get healthcare companies to stop spending money on things like blimps and put more of it into just treating patients? Well, Horizon officials don't think so. Uh, well, I don't know if they'd use a blimp. They might not be as creative, but uh, they would definitely be advertising. You see that uh, when the government's involved in anything, like Amtrak advertises, the uh, post office advertises. So uh, it, you have to, to get people's awareness uh, of what you're doing, the services you're providing, you have to advertise them. I, I'd ask anybody to tell me a government program that operates more efficiently than private sector, and I don't think you can do it. And uh, yes, they would still have the advertising, they would still have the marketing, they would still have administrative costs like every other uh, business if they were to get into. Okay. Maybe a blimp. Well, they, I don't think they'd be that creative. <laughs> I tried for a while to get my head around all this, but the only thought that stayed with me was this. If we don't solve this healthcare mess soon, we're going to be comparing our healthcare system and our economy to another famous blimp that once flew over New Jersey. It's a terrific race, ladies and gentlemen, the smoke and the flames now, and the famous crashing to the ground, not quite to the morning mass of the humanity.